Angel Hernandez was the villain of baseball from 1993 to 2024. From controversial calls, to fans thinking he's intentionally throwing games, to filing a discrimination lawsuit against MLB, claiming there is a grudge held against him that is racially motivated, he is by far hated by almost every player, with 100 active players at a point ranking him as the third worst umpire in the league, and many flat out refuse to watch MLB games if he's the umpire. So is he blind, or has has Angel seriously been racially discriminated against from MLB and Commissioner Rob Manfred? It's more than likely, he's just blind. MLB has been trying to force him to retire for years, whether it was openly criticizing his performance, giving him zero playoff games to umpire, or even calling out his poor communication skills alongside with the managers. This is the story of how MLB forced Angel Hernandez to retire. He became an umpire at the MLB level in 1991, and quickly, his reputation would go downhill. And don't worry, I'll have, a, I'll have some speaks with that home plate umpire after the game. Ooh. This has been happening his entire career, but there are three key factors that led to MLB forcing him out of the league, and the first factor is clearly his performance. I was just seeing like four or five clips in a row about this Angel Hernandez guy being the worst umpire of all time. Angel Hernandez, you stink and I don't like you! Being an MLB umpire means that he is responsible for who wins and who loses. There have been bad calls like that one, or this one, throughout his career. However, in 2013, Angel Hernandez would have one of the worst moments in umpire history. But first, I need to ask you one thing. Is this a home run or is it a double? Because the ball clearly hit the yellow line, and that means that it should be considered a home run. But after further replay, Angel Hernandez would rule that it was a double, and it pissed everyone off. No, oh my goodness no, gracious. No, oh no, no. You gotta be kidding me. What did they not see in that? This is recognized as a top five worst Angel Hernandez moment ever, especially because Angel took no accountability for this situation. He would instead say, there was not enough evidence to overturn this call, and MOB would later even release a statement saying that Angel Hernandez has refused to admit that it was the wrong call, and instead has attempted to blame the quality of the replay equipment. But this next moment literally ended Angel's postseason career. It was 2018, the Red Sox were the best team in baseball and were facing their rival in the postseason, the Yankees. In game two of that playoff series, Angel would have one major blown call before literally doubling that in the very next game. It was game three and Angel Hernandez would be a part of the umpire crew, where he would be the first base umpire in charge of calling whether the runner is safe or out. Over the course of this 9 inning slaughter by the Red Sox, Angel's calls would be reversed 3 of 4 times, which was simply unacceptable in an MLB playoff game. It would result in arguably the best pitcher of all time, Hall of Famer Pedro Martinez saying that Angel is horrible. Major League Baseball needs to do something about Angel. It doesn't matter how many times he sues MLB, he's as bad as there is. And keep in mind, this situation was in 2018, so you may wonder how he's been since then, and the answer is he's only gotten worse. After Angel's uh, announcement was retired, it was all lowlights. This guy called this strike, he called this strike. Look at this bullshit. Yep, called that one too. He has an umpire to play off game since 2018. He had one of the worst games ever by an umpire in 2021 and has ejected several star players like Bryce Harper and even Kyle Schwarber. And this brings us into our second factor for why MLB forced him out of baseball. You see, his poor performance is clear, but according to Angel Hernandez, MLB has been unfair, which is why Angel would take MLB to the court of law in a discrimination lawsuit. But not just one time, he has sued them two times. And according to Hernandez, MLB legend Joe Torre is the one responsible, as in 2010, Torre was named MLB's chief baseball officer and was now responsible for selecting the umpire crews. In the Angel Hernandez lawsuit, he would claim that ever since Joe Torre got in charge, there had only been all-white umpire crews in the World Series outside of one singular minority. And with Angel Hernandez being born in Cuba, he believed that his lack 
lack of World Series games was due to his race, so he flat out blamed Joe Torre. However, after opening this lawsuit in 2017, it would end in 2021 in favor of MLB, with the judge of this case even saying, The evidence shows beyond genuine dispute that an umpire's leadership and situation management carried the day in MLB's promotion decisions. In other words, Joe Torre and MLB didn't choose Angel because Angel sucks at his job. But what Angel Hernandez is doing behind home plate is just increasingly worse and worse and worse and more infuriating with each passing day. However, about one year later, Hernandez would appeal this ruling and continue to claim that this was discrimination. But of course, MLB would not take this very lightly and would even release a statement on why he has not been umpiring World Series games. And of course, it all comes back to 2018, when he was an umpire for two games in the Red Sox Yankees series. MLB would say, based on his performance during that Division Series playoff game, Tori was not confident in Hernandez's ability to perform effectively on an even more intense stage, and for this reason, did not select him for the World Series that season. But how would this appeal actually go? The answer is that it did not go well for Angel, as he would lose yet again another lawsuit in 2023. He would also have no playoff games to umpire, he would be ranked as the worst umpire in baseball with 161 bad calls and only 10 games. But with how bad that Angel clearly was, why didn't MLB just flat out fire him? Well, this brings us into the third and final factor the MLB Umpire Association. Because of this association, it is essentially impossible to fire an umpire or even suspend one. Uh, the union is a big part of it, absolutely. The umpire it's, it's, union? Yeah. It's hard to fire an umpire. Mm. Very, very, ah, very difficult to get rid on. of an umpire. The majority of the time an umpire gets suspended is because of the making physical contact. One guy was suspended for making physical contact with a manager and the other guy tugging on a player's shirt. With Angel not having done either of those things, he almost just couldn't be fired. But one of the worst things in MLB was the fact that Angel Hernandez had a history of suing them. So let's say that he was fired. It's almost a guarantee that he would have gone to the court of law with them once again. So MLB avoided a lawsuit and instead had to suffer through him making this bad call, that one, ejecting this guy, and ejecting that guy. So very clearly, the relationship between the two sides was broken, and it has been broken for a long time. He's been called out by the league, he's made several bad calls, but somehow, his last Last call ended up actually being the best call that he has ever made in his 33 year career, aka finally announcing his retirement early in the 2024 season. And he's out! But after 33 years, then all of a sudden, you finally come to the realization that maybe I'm not a very good umpire. And while it's been reported that Angel Hernandez was not forced directly by the league to retire, it's clear that they definitely had an impact. They made his job a lot harder, pushing him to the point of retirement. Plus, with a lingering back issue and a financial agreement with MLB to leave the league, it's no wonder that the villain of baseball is finally gone. And do enjoy your retirement, because I certainly, I certainly 